bring joy to your life by being aesthetically beautiful to look at. Hey guys, we're making sensory play that is free, eco-friendly, really accessible, and all natural. I know, I know. And your kid's gonna love it and it's beautiful. Also a huge disclaimer here, no shocking revelation. I am not a child development expert. I didn't study child development. I'm not a psychologist, I'm not a doctor. I'm not an expert at anything that has to do with children and brain development and what's good for you and your child. But I do know it's good for me. Well, it's good for my child. She likes to explore things and she likes new things and she likes textures and she likes colors being created. I love those things as well. I don't like the mess. When things are messy, it makes me a little anxious. Maybe it's my design background, I don't know. But I prefer when things are visually and aesthetically pleasing to look at. That might sound superficial to some people, but I disagree. I think design is super powerful. It can make complicated things feel simpler. And it can bring joy to your life by being aesthetically and visually beautiful to look at. I think you can have both. We deserve both. I deserve both. I don't like looking at a all day long. So why not do something where I know she's going to love playing with it. She's going to have a good time. It's going to help brain development. It's also going to be nice for me to look at. Yeah, this is your homegirl chiming in. This is in no way meant to trigger your mom guilt. Do what you need to do, what you have available to you. It doesn't have to be eco-friendly. Yes, try your absolute hardest to things in your environment that are eco-friendly, but don't feel bad. It's okay. My kid had pizza. She literally climbed up the table the other day and had a whole slice to herself. She's 18 months old. It happened. She also had a brownie this morning. My point is, I'm not here to trigger anyone's mom guilt. And we all know as a mom, that's very easily triggered. I'm just here to share any ideas that are easily accessible. It helps the environment, but it's totally okay if this is just not possible for you. You want to just go ahead and bookmark it in the future when you have the ability to do things that are eco-friendly and good for your child and easy for you. That's it. That's all I want to share. It's okay. You got this. See the stars? There's a star and a heart. throw those flowers out we get another good use for them
We have a bugabilia outside. Don't know if I'm mispronouncing that. I'm saying it in Portuguese because that's all I know. And the petals have been falling lately because of the rain. I was thinking of things like, oh, maybe I can do something for Valentine's Day with those petals because they're so colorful, they're so beautiful. But then we also are all in lockdown. So I was like, what can I do to get this girl? to stop freaking out because I'm also bored so I can just imagine her. Uh, so that's where this idea came from. I'm sure you can find these items throughout. You can usually just get some flowers out of a garden or go for a walk at a park somewhere and if you see wildflowers just pick them up, get some plants with flowers in it that way you can enjoy it visually and when it's like petals are falling you can put it to good use and that's what I'm doing here. And then uh, it's just water and bowls. The oranges it was something that I added in last minute because she ate oranges in the morning and I was about to throw away the peels, the orange peels. And I was like, oh, I'm going to throw that into the bowl. And then it's a new texture in, in addition to the flower petals. It really is like romanticizing your life. It makes my day feel a little more special. Yeah.